This one is a young patient with BMI is high, had small boil in his arm, blood glucose is elevated, uh, hemoglobin A1C is high. What is the treatment? Of course, we will go for uh, the better is to go for uh, insulin. This patient is obese with small boil, with the glucose too, too elevated, drinker, not important, increased urine frequency. I will go for insulin rather than to go for metformin or another hypoglycemic. This patient is obese. Mostly as insulin uh, resistant, I have to go for insulin. Insulin pump, no. Insulin uh, gargelin is now used. Patient with high sugar, high cholesterol, and low HDL and ALT rise. Also obese. What is the diagnosis? I told you this is metabolic syndrome. High blood glucose and high cholesterol and uh, obese patient. This is the picture of uh, showing the metabolic syndrome, which which is obesity, insulin resistant, hypertension, and hyperglycemia and low HDL. Patient with a history of pancreatitis. Some time ago, now presented, what is the presentation now? Now presented with distension, tenderness, visible, uh, vessels, percussion positive, temperature a little bit elevated, liver enzyme also rise, confusion, confused and slightly drowsy. What is the diagnosis? Of course, this, this patient has acute abdomen, acute peritonitis, spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. This is very important. We have history of pancreatitis. We have here elevated temperature, the patient confused. Of course, we will think that the bacteria go farther to, uh, periton to the peritoneum and the patient got spontaneous peritonitis. Pancreatitis itself alone, pancreatitis, if the patient has pancreatitis, okay, it's chronic, so it will, uh, even if it is acute pancreatitis, it will not cause confusion unless there is a spontaneous, unless there is involvement of the periton uh, peritoneum, we call this condition spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. Patient had uh, right upper quadrant pain, palpable mass and the right inter uh, and the right intercostal midclavicular area, weight loss. Okay, what we have palpable mass, right intercostal, could be something in the liver, and could be something in the head of the pancreas. Here, there's just. Uh, mass and we have only the the only accepted one is the ci head of pancreas gallstone it will not cause palpable mass other relevant options i don't know what are them but the most accepted one weight loss we have patient weight loss with the palpable mass go to think for ca ca pancreas here is the most accepted one patient with abdominal pain Again, we have, uh, uh, as I told you, common bile duct more than six millimeter. Keep this trick with you. Common bile duct more than six, six millimeter, go for ERCP. Patient, again, we have this question. Uh, we speak about that. We have patient with abdominal distension and tympanic, on, uh, tympanic sound on abdominal percussion, abdominal distension, 
also has vomiting. Think about obstruction, but the patient on uh, has Parkinson disease and on Parkinson uh, anti Parkinsonism, anti Parkinson drug. So, what is the uh, cause? The cause, the diagnosis is pseudo obstruction. What is the next investigation? As I told you, in in general speaking, when we are speaking about intestinal obstruction, the next will be a rect supine abdominal x-ray. We call this condition patient on Parkinson, uh, anti-Parkinson drugs, we call it pseudo obstruction. Patient has uh, had AF, X-ray was there, point uh, toward mesenteric ischemia. If we are thinking about mesenteric ischemia, we have to go for a CT scan of the abdomen. CT angiography is the first. Could be this. Uh... Okay. Regarding this question, if you remember the other possible scenario for that patient with AF presented with acute abdomen, I told you think about mesenteric ischemia, and in the options, what they will ask you, what is the next? In the options, they will put they will put the lactic uh, serum lactate, serum lactic acid. Go for lactate. I don't know why they are like this question very much, so you have to uh, go for it. Okay, here there is no option for uh, serum lactate. I don't know whether the, the recaller uh, aware about this important note or not, but let's take it like this, like this. It is to go for oral series. What's oral series? What's the X-ray? X-ray of what? X-ray already was there. So this absolutely this is a wrong scenario and a, a wrong option because the recaller said X-ray was there and after that said there is no and the option to do X-ray. So absolutely this is wrong. To do barium enema, there is nothing in, in suggest barium enema. To go for NG tubation, no. What to do? What to do is to go, most likely to go for CT scan. Okay, but I, as I told you, the uh, most most common scenario to be seen with the option of lactic uh, serum lactate. Newly married couple now uh, comes to you, say. His mom has schizophrenia. What the chance of schizophrenia in the children? The best option here uh, is six percent. Uh, I want you just to uh, share with me uh, in a comment this question because I want to put the uh, chance of getting schizophrenia in children of. Uh, of a married couple, this is very important question, and it is, I just memorized them like this, 6%, 6%, 12%, 21%, up to, uh, up to 47%. But please just share this question in a comment, and I will uh, put that, I will, I will cl I clarify this very well. Because really, I need to read again the numbers, the true numbers.